I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll explore how to predict whether a decimal equivalent of a fraction is repeating or terminating. So the question for you is predict whether the decimal equivalent for each fraction will be terminating or repeating decimal. So we have six examples here. 7 over 5, 5 over 9, 5 divided by 6, 13 divided by 8, 10 over 12 or 83 divided by 20. You can pause the video, answer the question and then check with my solution. Now the question is, when we divide 7 by 5, do we get terminating decimal or repeating decimal? This is what we need to decide. How can we figure that out? One of the solution is to write prime factors, right? Or we call it prime factorization, right? That process of writing a number as product of prime factors is called prime factorization. Now, if the prime factors are only 2 and 5, then what we get? we get terminating decimals. So that leads to terminating decimals. Let me write T here. But all others will give you what? Repeating decimals. Let me write R here. You get the point, right? So that is the key and simple test. So what you can do is, you can do prime factorization. Now five in our case is itself a prime number. So it has only one prime factor, which is 5. So in this case, it should be terminating, right? So we'll write T for terminating. Next one, 9. Now 9 has 3 and 3, right? Other than 2 and 5, and therefore, it is a repeating decimal. Then we have 5 divided by 6. Now, what are the factors of 6? Factors of 6 are 2 and 3. Since it has 3 also as a factor, it will make it repeating. So this will be repeating decimal. Now let's look into 13 divided by 8. Now let's write down factors of 8. 8 is 2 times 4 and 4 is 2 times 2. Since they are all 2's, it should be terminating. Do you see that? Next one, 12. Now in case of 12, we could say 12 is 4 times 3 and 4 is 2 times 2. But we have a factor 3 which makes it repeating. Do you get the idea? 20. So in this case, 20 is 4 times 5, both are 2 and 2, so prime factors are 2, 2 and 5, so we have factors of 2, 5 in this case, therefore it should be terminating, you get an idea, right? So that is how you can predict. Let us check, if I divide, we'll check two numbers, 5 by 6, so 5 divided by 6 we get 0 0.833 3, 3 and so on. So it is repeating. Do you see that? Let me divide 83 this time by 20. What do we get? 4.15. It terminates. Right? So that is the kind of question we have. And the key here is that you need to check the denominator. There is one more important thing. When we have common factors, we should simplify first. So 10 over 12 will simplify. It could be written as dividing both by 2, 5 over 6. Do you see that? So at times, you need to simplify and then factor. So this is very important. I hope with another video on this type of examples, you will appreciate it more. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot from my videos. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.